when you were little, adults you trusted told you that this is how it was, and you had no reason to doubt them. And then, you know, when you grow up, I love the quote from uh, Dogma, which is sort of an old movie now, which makes me sad. One of my favorites. But it, it's this idea, I'm trying to remember who says it, uh, she, somebody makes the point that religion is like uh, this glass of water, and the water fills up the glass. But as you get older, the glass gets bigger, but the amount of water that's in the glass stays the same. It takes more and it, water. And, and it takes more water to fill the glass, but there isn't actually any more water to be had. And, and I think it, it, it does. It becomes a problem. Like, you're a child, and adults you trust, your parents, tell you that this is how it is. And, and I think part of the difficulty in getting over it is having to be like, my parents were wrong, or my parents lied to me, or my parents didn't have a good reason for believing this, and yet ruined my peace of mind with, with you know, these beliefs. And that's, I think it's a staggering thing to grapple with. It's interesting. <laughs> Especially for an 11-year-old. So, yeah, know. well, it's, it's interesting from the adult perspective. I mean, because... I mean, all of us pretty much had our full conversions in our mid-twenties, is what it sounds like. I mean, yeah. you fell away from the church at 17, but your full, like, atheist was, you know, like, 25, 7, 27. I mean, 27, 27, I think, yeah. Mine was 27 as well, and it, it, and it was like, I'd been agnostic since I was fucking 12. I had atheist family members, and I still didn't understand, like, that full, the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until you came along and pointed it out. So we were all like in that same Right, and I had, a, I had a, kind of the same boat as Eric, I think, where 16, 17, I didn't go to church anymore. Yeah. And I actually, and I talk about this in my deconversion story um, in, in the first episode, where I said I actually hit this period where I literally refused to think about religious things. Because I was afraid, I was actively afraid that if I thought about it, I was going to realize that I didn't believe anymore. And I was terrified. Because I was told, if you didn't believe, you burn. Yeah. And, you know, I, I in my mid-twenties, like, I think 26, 27, I finally sort of worked up the courage to think about it. And, and you know, then it all came crashing down pretty fast.